Hi folks, well you caught us on Bank Holiday Monday, which is April the 1st, Sharon. Jimmy's birthday! Jimmy's birthday, Jimmy, our youngest boy is 27 like today. So, uh, is it April Fool, Sharon? That's yes, right, yeah. It's my April Fool. Uh, we're just out and about. It's a very grey day today, so we're not doing much today. We don't think. We're not too sure yet. We're going to go to Tesco's now. We've got to get to pick up some stuff. And uh, we may have a look around the shops as well, see what's open. Uh, may have a little look at a charity shop hall, Sharon. Ooh. I fancy some DVDs. Right, so let's get going. We'll see you en route. Bye for now. Bye. Holding off at the moment, folks. So um, we're going to be okay, but we've got to get some food, which we wouldn't normally eat because we're doing a video for uh, the air fryer during this week, and uh, it's a little bit based on a takeaway. So uh, do keep your eyes tuned for that one. We're just going to um, find a parking space in here. Look at, have a look at that. Show. Look how busy the car park is. Oh, we normally park over here, don't we? Yes, you still can. Yeah, let's have a little look over here, look. Right, let's get in here then. Yeah, what's nice? Show them this, show, look. Show them that there. That's what we like, folks. This little uh, overhead view, so to speak. You can see exactly when you get in between the, the white lines, look. That's what he's I... parking wonky. Eh? <laughs> no, you can see everything, look. Yeah. Look at that, look. I'm just in enough there, look. See the white lines either side of the car? Happy days. And it's gone, just like that. Just like that. Let's turn a baby off. Let's get inside, shall we? And uh, let's get by some stuff. Okay. Yeah, the car park's pretty busy, folks. Bank holiday Monday. The sky's very grey, as you can see. And here she comes, my little princess. Come and join us on another little shopping spree. And you'll be able to see what we're going to be buying for our Kasori video this week. Which should probably be out this week, I would imagine, yeah. We've also got another bike to review, Sharon, haven't we? Yes, I'm just going to go and get a trolley. And uh, that'll be coming up this week as well. And doing some outside cooking with that one, probably. And, uh, yeah, so lots to do this week. Oh, and also, we're giving away the Altenic Pet Grooming Kit. Yep. Yeah, we're going to be cutting Dougal this week. He, he's having a full shave. But uh, we're going to be announcing that on the on the video. Well, I'm just announcing it now, Sharon, oh, aren't yeah. I? So if you want a chance of winning that, uh, keep tuned for the Dougal video, which is coming out this week. And also, we'll be giving it away on our Sunday premiere. So keep an eye out for that one, folks. Right, let's get inside, yeah. Look at them little babies. Grab a little box of joy. Oh well, you okay? Just been in the toilet, baby? Yeah, much better now. Yeah, here, look at these, Charlotte. You remember this? Look, all these books here. Yeah. Do you remember book club at school? Yeah. Used to come around with a leaflet, like a coloured brochure, to give to the kids, and then you'd, you'd pick a book and take it home to your parents, and they'd pay for it, and then about a week later, you'd come back and they'd uh, bring the book, the teacher would have your book and dish all the books out, what you bought. Yeah. I used to love that. Look how colourful all these books are, look. I used to love book club, look, looking at that brochure. And it's all about looking at the pictures on the front of the uh, the books. That's what they used to make you buy them, wouldn't it? Yeah, mine's, mine's Pretty fun. much so, like a thumbnail on a video show. The more colourful and brighter and more impact you make on your video, uh, your thumbnail, it's like book club, wouldn't it? That's like all these magazines and all that, look. Look at all how colourful and bright they are, big, bold headlines, look. And that's what makes people buy them. They look at the front cover and buy it on the strength of that, what isn't it? What catches your eye? What catches your eye, Sharon? Exactly the same with all these brightly coloured packages as well, look. That's what catches your eye. But they catch you early, shall, don't they? With kids. Oh, yeah. For cereal boxes, for example. Well, they're not fun like they used to be. There's no toys in there. I know. And I remember going out when I was a kid and seeing, go, go to the supermarket with my mum and looking for the toys on the boxes. I didn't care what the cereal was. I just wanted a toy. And that's what makes your mum buy them. Just got a box of uh, grass seed, Sharon. That's for the patches, what Merlin and Dougal have dug in the garden. 
I've got, I've got some new earth to fill in, haven't I? So we've got some of that. Anything there for you, baby? No, I'm not coming here for myself. No, we're just looking for certain food at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, so there's so many people here today. But they are not. Wouldn't have thought there would have been this amount of people out on the bank holiday show, to be honest with you. But we don't know whether or not the charity shops are going to be open. I don't show, think do we? they are, yeah. Yeah, if not, folks, we'll have to do that another day. What do you reckon, the thighs? Chicken thighs? Thighs or drumsticks? Yeah, I think the thighs will be better, shall not they? They're more meaty, aren't they? More meaty on them, aren't they? So look at how much are they? Uh, £3, I think. What's them down there for £2.09? What's that there? Drumsticks and wings. Oh, is it the oh, wings? Yeah, oh, that's what I thought, yeah. £2.99? How many did you get in there? Six? Seven, right, yeah, we'll have them as well. Yeah, as I say, this is for a video during the week, people, so uh, keep tuned for that one. We just bought them them buns as well, as you can see. And we want some burgers now, Sharon, don't we? Right, what you got there, Sharon? Four of them for four pounds. That's a pound of burger, isn't it? Yeah. Which I suppose is pretty average. Are they quarter pounders? They are. Right, we've got to come over here, and we're looking for a cheap eight-inch pizza, Sharon, aren't we? Oh, they're a bit small, them ones, aren't they? What's this one? Eight, what's them ones there? Are they 10 inch, 8 inch? 55 pence. That's for them ones there. How big are they? About 6 inches, aren't they? Sure. That quite... will fit in the air fryer, so yeah. that's what you've got to think of as well. Well, maybe get a couple of them, shall we? Maybe. Yeah, because we've got a dual air fryer, haven't oh, we? Well, that's cheese and ham. So cheese and ham, 6 for 5p. What? 55. 55 pence, because we'll be putting our own top in there, won't we? Or we'll get two of them, yeah? They won't take long to cook anyway, will they? And while she's doing that, we want the old um, cheap cheese people. You know the um, plastic cheese, what you get from burgers and stuff like that? Yeah, they've actually had a move around in here, Sharon. That's why we're a little bit lost at the moment, folks, because um, we can't see where everything is. It's all been moved. So again, we're just going for the 83 pence one. It's only the cheap one, Sharon. It? Nasty stuff. And all we want now is a seasoning for sort of southern fried seasoning shall don't we yeah so i don't know if you found out or realized what we're doing at the moment folks for this video but um it's a little comparison video we're doing so we just need some southern fried coating now and um the rest of the ingredients i think we got in the house so keep tuned for that one this week well sharon there was no charity shops open at no. all in Boston, was there? A couple of them are closed down as well. Yeah. So on the way back, we see the uh, Bubble Car Museum. Bubble. And I think they've got loads of old relics in here from the past history, apart from just cars. Bubble cars. Bubble cars, yeah. So let's have a little go in here, folks. We're not too sure how much it costs to get in yet. We'll tell you as we get in there. And let's have a little look around here on a Bank Holiday Monday treat. Treat. See you in a minute. So here we go, we've just come inside. We've got a lovely little cafeteria here you can come in first of all. Five pounds for adults, under 14s two pounds, and under 10s one pound. So here we go, we have just paid, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. you just paid, I've got a free sticker. And he's got a free sticker he's as well. He's upside down. He's upside uh, down, yeah. He's upside down, there you go. Yeah, and your name is? Charlie. Charlie, you want to say hello to anyone, Charlie? Pardon? Do you want to say hello to anybody? Uh, yeah, I'll say hello to Jeff. Jeff? Jeff. You better tell Jeff to watch then, wouldn't you? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Right, we have been here before, but uh, thank you very much. Anyway, we're going to have a nice look around now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you've also got a little shop here as well, folks. If you want to buy a little bit of memorabilia, do have a look, a little check out of that as well. Right, let's get back in here then. I've been here for a few years, have we? 
And as you can see, as we walk in, Sharon, there's some absolutely fantastic historic relics here, Sharon. Oh, my God, look at the old disabled car. Oh, do you remember them? Yeah. Look at that. Back in the 1970s, folks, this um, was what... That's what they used to uh, issue uh, disabled people who had mobility issues and they used to drive about in these. And I think, Sharon, I think they actually reclaimed them all. And there is a few left. I think Hubnut's got one. There's a, a YouTuber called Hubnut. And he's got his own channel. But I think he's got one of these and he actually brought it back to life again and does use it or has been using it. I don't know if we still got it or not, but check out Hubnut's channel. Let's just have a look inside, Jack. It's been ages since I've seen one of these. Yeah. Yeah, well. And what you used to do was to sit, obviously, on the seat there. But if you look at the door on the other side, or even this side, there's a gap there. And you used to fold your wheelchair up and put your wheelchair along the side there. And it steers very much like um, a motorcycle with a handlebar. It's got a single wheel at the front, two wheels at the back, and the engine is in the back carriage there. But how small were these little cars back then, Sharon? Yeah. And let's have a look here. You've got some old clocks. Oh, I remember these sort of clocks. Look at this old memorabilia. Oh, look at here. Look. Kitty's room. Look, Puss in Boots. Yeah, look at that. There's some really nice old clocks. And that little transistor radio there, look, Bush transistor radio there, had a little radio in it. That would have been probably 1960s or 70s, maybe, because it only had the medium wave and long wave then. There was no um, VHF, so it's a very early unit, that one. Also, old cameras and photographic well, equipment. Well, I used to work in a chemist. I know all the camera sizes for these yeah. films, I should well. say. Oh, baby sham. Yeah, you can still get them on the um, auction sites and stuff like that, this but sort of stuff. But you baby sham anymore? I used to, I used to spill out that at Christmas, baby yeah. sham. And what have we got here, Sharon? This is an old... Um, I'm not sure whether that's a disabled vehicle or not, folks. It's uh, Is it engine... It like it, yeah, it? not too sure. And coming on here, what's this little one here? I'm not sure of the make of it. What is it? It's a 1955 yeah. Meadows Frisky Family 3. Frisky Sport. So it is actually a family car. Look at that number plate. Yeah, let's have a look on the inside of it. Look at this one, people. Look, a little bench seat at the front. Look at that, look. A little picnic box in there, look. And that dash in there, look it's how old that looks. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. And along here, a lovely collection of uh, matchbox cars and toys and stuff. Now, that thing, I remember that in the um, Outspan ad advert. And you could buy. The little bubble car for in there was £2.95. Oh, £2.95. <laughs> that little thing. Yeah. £2.95. Look at that. Look. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Some really nice stuff in here, people. We, we, we will leave the um, address for this place at the uh, in the video description. And just coming around here, this was a Messerschmitt, I think. Yeah, it says it there. Right Again, right. three-wheel car, but um, the single wheel is not at the back, uh, at the front. It's at the back on these ones. Yeah, the old uh, trotter. Three-wheel red cups. Yeah, there we go, the old trotter van, yeah. So look at these, look. These used to enter these at the front and open the front door. The steering wheel used to fold up and uh, sit in that and just shut that down there like that. Look. That's amazing, isn't it? This one's the same. Again, what model is this one? That's virtually the same, isn't it? Sure? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they take the battery. It looks like they've taken all the batteries out of the vehicles to um, preserve them. Yeah. But the beauty of these things was, back in the day, Sharon, was that people could actually drive these on motorcycle licenses. Because oh, right. they got three wheels. Could you imagine Merlin and Dougal sat in the back? No, I couldn't. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that phone. That's an old uh, portable mobile phone sitting down there, folks. Look at that, look. Amazing, isn't it? That would be a, a mobile in the 80s, probably. Maybe early 80s. So, yeah, I didn't realise there were so many different makes of these cars. Now this one's called an N O B E L Nobel. Yeah, I'm sure. Got tax disc on it. Yeah, so it has been on the road in 2015 that one. Yeah. And then coming through here, you've got a, I would say 1950s, 1960s type kitchen, Sharon. Hang on, let's see if it's a 1951 that paper. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a vintage kitchen. 
And I remember back, obviously, to the early 60s, maybe, no, mid-60s, I would say, when family people, my family did have kitchens like this. And I remember uh, my parents having a stove like that. I remember that, no, no, that These say. chairs and tables are very familiar. And also a sideboard cabinet like that in the kitchen, kitchen unit cabinet. And a bread bin as well like that. Yeah. Amazing. So coming around here, an old motorcycle and sidecar. And then what we got here, Sharon? Hallway. hallway. Yeah, that is a bit, that's like your grandparents' hallway, wasn't it? Yeah. Telephone, not a bit. Amazing. Oh, and then you go through to the lounge, look. Yeah. Look at the telly. Yeah, this is probably 1940s, 1950s, maybe. Hang on, there's a paper. Maybe there. early 50s. What's the date? Oh, 1951. Yeah, time. again, early 50s, and that painting there was common in many, many houses. Look at the pipe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that. How about that pipe? Really historic. Yeah, I remember, the, so I remember the DAFs in the 1970s. I think they worked on the same principle as modern scooters with the, uh, the band, and they used to call it a veromatic gearbox, if I remember rightly. And that's an even smaller bubble car show. Look at that one. Mm. What's that one called? Scooter car. Scooter car. Yeah, scooter, scooter car. Look at that. Fantastic. It's just for one. Look. Oh, no, you can't. And how about, yeah, look at this little thing in front of your show. This is actually a four-wheel car, which is like a shrunk-down version of a normal size car. And what's it called? NSU Prince. NSU? Yeah. NSU used to make motorcycles, if I remember rightly. You had one called the NSU Quickly, if oh, I remember look, rightly. So I'm sure you can see, folks, a really, really interesting place. We're not going to show you absolutely everything in here. No, and I think there's an upstairs as well there here, Sharon, isn't there? But loads of memorabilia. Oh, look at this, Sharon. I remember this. Them old mixing thing. Oh, them, them Moulinex. Yeah, I remember him, the old Fred. The flowers. My yeah. mum had them. Yeah, and all the old the, uh, detergents at the top there. Look at that, look. Ajax, blimey. Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. remember all this vividly. So coming through here, these were toys of the uh, yesteryear. Escalado. Remember that? It used to be like a green velvet felt track with a windy handle at one end and it used to agitate the horses on them and they used to dot along and you'd get a winner. Some more old cars. Again, little, oh, tiny, tiny little cars there. Wow, that's a tiny. Look at that little caravan there, look. It's called a nutshell folding caravan. Look at that, look. That you would tow behind your little car. Nice. I don't know if you'd be able to sleep in that shower, would you? Oh, I don't know, you might be able to. It might go across the mm. bed, might And over here, we've got a mock up of an old graveyard for these old cars. Look at this, look. These ones haven't obviously been restored, but look at the shapes of them, look. There's an old Citroen Diane at the back there, look. They've let this bit grow really wild here now, look, and this is open to um, the greenery. In ivy that's come through look at that look See, they was all plastic shower they was all fiberglass oh, lot a lot of these <laughs> oh look at this little thing yep wow amazing old-fashioned workshops Newbury Brothers garage yeah all the old um greases and oils and liquids up there look, vintage stuff really some good stuff here some really and i've never seen half of these cars before in my life yeah. Oh, he looks dodgy. Oh, hello. <laughs> we would like to come in here at night and meet that bloke, shall we? No. Looks like they're more. But do you remember that? Look, the old uh, books he's got. Look, the old stamps. Green Shield oh, stamps. Yeah, look at that. Look. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the look yeah, of him. That's a funny little guy, isn't it? That one. Yeah. Small, isn't it? The old, Pedals. The old fuel pumps there. Let's have a look around there. Look. This tiny little bike here. I don't know what it's called. It's a J Ridge. Not sure, is that about 68, 69, 1970 maybe? Yeah, about 1970 I think the J Reg was. Tiny little thing. More old games you play that. And that's the thing I always wanted when I was a kid. A chemistry set. That wouldn't be allowed nowadays, but you used to get all these different chemicals in there where you'd make up potions and stuff like that. And I think sometimes you could even create flames or whatever or fire out of them. Obviously, obviously banned now. Or one of these little uh, TVs here, which you turn around and the image scoots across the screen there. Wow, look at this. Amazing stuff. All the older 
stylophone now. There we go, there. Always wanted one of them and I eventually got one. And then coming over here, this was been, been about 1980. I can't remember the 1980, this is a Sinclair C5. Early 80s, Sharon, I think. I can't remember it when it was. Say on there when it was. Does it say when it came out? No, about, no, it I reckon it's about 82, something like that. 81, 82. Does that say? And that was designed by Sir Clive Sinclair as a form of transport, battery transport. But the trouble was, it's so low to the ground, people used to drive along the main roads, and people in cars and even lorries couldn't see them. Very dangerous. But that's a Sinclair C5. Lights. Look at these old Christmas tree lights. I remember stuff like this. Look. I said, look, your radiograms and. Yeah, I remember my mum and dad had a radiogram like that. Oh, I remember an air dryer like that. I remember them. Yeah. Then old fa to them, yeah. Old yeah. fashioned record players there. Look at that. Very, very old stuff here. And the old Ever Ready batteries. Look, that's an original one. Yeah, just coming. I've just seen that sitting in the corner there. That's an old Dan Set Bermuda record player, which I've restored quite a few of them. I used to pick them up from um, Facebook and auctions for probably between five and fifteen, twenty pounds, something like that. Restore them and uh, sell them on um, eBay for about four hundred and fifty to five hundred pounds. Uh, that was a few years ago now, but um, a lot of people are doing it now, and I think the prices have now actually dropped. And they actually make a reproduction down set Bermuda now, I think you'll find. So that's pulled the price down. But yeah, old original ones still come on quite a bit of money. And then what's that? That's a little one, Sharon. This here, what is it? Is it French? Sold. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I would say, I would say it's French because it's got Gaulois and Jetanes. They're French cigarettes. It's that little van that's got vegetables yeah. in the back. It's like one of those... Um, Delivery vans. Yeah, that you get from France. But that's a little tiny, small little one. Look at that, look. Wow, that's amazing. So we've only just walked around the lower bit here, folks. There's obviously a lot more to see. We've not looked in detail. But uh, we'll have a little look upstairs quickly. But if, as I say, these little places, ideal. If you want a little visit of a place and it's with historic interest, especially if you're of a certain age where you uh, remember this sort of stuff. I say I'm of a certain age, but I don't remember half of these little cars at all apart from the, the bubble car and obviously the, 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 uh, the disabled invalid carriage there. The rest of them I've never really seen before. Well, maybe the Messerschmitt as well. Can't remember what's up here, Sharon. It's been years since we've been in here, isn't it? Oh, we've got some more cars up here. Look at this. Wow. These are getting smaller, Sharon. Look at this, look. In actual fact, that looks like a little motorcycle front wheel and a headlight with someone's built this um chassis around it maybe tiny little thing look at that look you just don't see this sort of stuff anymore no. martin it's the first time i've seen some of these cars. yeah but that's right we haven't we ain't been here for a few years here, have we no. now i remember them the thomas mopeds in fact you could buy them off of a catalog if i remember rightly in the 1980s, that was the brand that they used to sell in the catalogues. That's a Honda, is that a Honda Cameo? Yep, that's a little Honda Cameo. What else you got there? I'm not sure what that one is. That's another little Honda as well. But again, old bikes that don't exist anymore. That one was a Falcon, whatever that is. Look at that, look. I'm not sure. Pink Oh, look at that, look. On the programme, when he started off, he drove up in a little pink panther car, didn't he? That's a little replica of it, I would imagine. Villiers powered bike there, called the Sun. Little single CC engine. Yeah, and again, Bambi, 1995, that was probably last on the road there. Look at that. Look. Yeah, I think that looks more modern to me, Sharon, I'm not sure. Tricycle. Yeah, another Bambi there. Look, there's two Bambis. Fifteen pounds as well. Fifteen pounds for the year. Pounds. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, some lovely old stuff in here. And coming over here, some old um, china ware, and also some old log Art books. That used well. to be the old driving licenses there, yeah, Shadow. Yeah, I've still got my dad's like that. Yeah. Yours. 
tax discs, old ve old lamps and that from the period, old spark plugs and stuff. Look at that, look. There's the AA badges. Yeah, all the old racing. badges in there. Do have a look at all this if you do come down, folks. Oh, wow. There you go. And some old period um, furniture and curtains there. So, yeah, that's the Bubble Museum, folks. That's our little uh, view of that today. Anyway, we're just going to say hello to... We bumped into them today. Philip and Suzanne. Philip and Suzanne. Uh, we bumped into you today, Phil and Suzanne. Nice, of you. It's nice to speak to you. And uh, they live in Grimsby, by the way. They've come all the way down from Grimsby. I think they were visiting in the Wildlife Centre in Horncastle, weren't they? Mm, yeah, they were. Anyway, that's our little video today, folks. Just something to get outside. And uh, we don't I forget... Pop in it. Five yeah. pounds to get in. Five pounds. I'll parking. leave the address uh, down below. It's on the way to Boston from... Um, and it's also a campsite Woodall as well. Spa. And there is a little... Yeah, you can put yeah. camping for the yeah. night. I don't know what that costs though. You'd obviously have to go online. They have got a website. I'll put the website details down below as well. But for a fiver, you can't find places Brilliant. like this. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget to have a little binge watch of our videos. Uh, see you in the next video, probably tomorrow. Will do. And keep an eye out for our little Kasori video during the week. And also... We'll be shaving Dougal and we'll be giving away one of the Altenic pet grooming kits. I think they're worth about £200, yeah? yeah they're worth every penny. Yeah. All right, it may be a lot, but you soon get your money back yeah. when you cut your dog. Altenic have given us one to give away to our subscribers for free, so that will be in Sunday's vlog. Not cut your dog. The, the giveaway. Groom your but dog. we'll be doing the dog this week sometime yeah. in a vlog. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.